Show me your hands. Right now. Show me your hands. Right now. Some cops are so stupid that it is a delight to watch them getting themselves in trouble. In this video, we'll be looking at three cases where stupid cops get their caught in the act. Starting with the one where a cop pretends to be a motel worker and ends up in a dangerous situation because of it. On May 16, 2023, Madison County Sheriff's officers arrived at Motel 6 to serve warrants to Brooke Badger and John Nickham. However, the officers decided to fake their identities and act like they were local motel workers. Watch what happens when they arrive in the couple's room. Front desk. The officer then calmly enters their room and immediately asks Nickham to raise his hands. Show me your hands right now. Show me your hands right now. Instead of listening to the officer, Nickham does something shocking. Hands. Later, when a SWAT team arrived at the site, they found Nickham's lifeless butt inside the room with a self-inflicted These cops were out of their minds, just like this next councilman who was found doing something really stupid. Well, arrest is gonna come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. On May 15th, 2023, Rhode Island police found Matthew Riley, a now former Cranston City Council member, passed out in the driver's seat of his car. When the officers investigated the scene further, they found something that left them stunned. Oh, no way, dude. Really? Yes, yes. I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. Bro. Well, arrest is going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a pipe in your hands. So it's like. Sorry. The officer had no idea what he was walking into, as he was simply called for a man choking in his sleep. He must have thought it was a medical emergency, but instead, he caught the councilman with drugs. What I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. You know, so arrest is going to come here, oh, and Jesus. they're going to check you out. You know, you, as far as I know, there's no so I no. can't. You know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health or well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I obviously have to document it, you know. We can have that back. Thank you. There will, will be no arrest. What? There will be no arrest. No. Um, is there any, are there any drugs? Anything like that? No, no, nothing. No. All right. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it, was a, it was a relapse. I've been clean for 13 years. All right. I just went through a really, really bad divorce recently. Okay. Um, uh, do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out, out, and like, looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Um, That's why somebody literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Uh, I no, not that I know. After Riley shared his struggles with addiction, EMT arrived at the scene to check on him and ensure he was doing okay. What's wrong with this guy? Your whole life. Mm hmm. Down the drain for what? So you don't know him at all? You guys don't know. I've never met him in my life. Yeah. We'll probably dig out just a smaller little rock so we don't have to break anything. Uh, if we can get a little bit with the, po uh, the powder. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do it. I'll touch it. Okay. It. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, because he was on the nod, or like, it yeah, seemed like it was mixed with something else, but. Just You need this knife? 
say. Yeah, I was just telling him the same thing because I mean, you don't fall asleep usually from completely, you know, it's not an opiate. Yeah, yeah. it's good yeah. enough. Wow. He claims he was tired and he, and he may have sleep apnea, but I don't think that's gonna. Fly. Especially like this. Yeah. Yeah, only climb a lot too. It's like you stick out like a sore thumb. Well, yeah. right away. Oh. Uh, I can test it for fentanyl. Test it for both, just to make right. sure that I don't know what we're dealing with. Can you just snap a picture of that? Especially if yeah. we're going to put him in a cell. The officers began discussing charging Riley, and as they were doing that, they found something alarming on his car seat. He just had his mother come get the car, but I'm not going to. I wouldn't have him. No, not getting no, there, no. touching all that. All that white powder, is that. That's a piece that of crap. Yeah, of yeah, that's definitely. That's definitely. Yeah, yeah most likely. Whew. Yeah, you can smell it, and he's burning up. He has a bunch of toy boy and should we have a toy? It looks no, like he's like half to... living out of his car. Not There's some like private property. Cheese. We're good. We're on private property. Man, this guy's yeah, look at this. He's got a problem. I'll do all the uh evidence stuff for you. Thank you. Alright, so um is he rescue's good with him? They're, they're just finishing oh, up right he's now. Got the, okay. He's got the brill on everything over there. Yep. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on it's all they're uh, finishing up right now. That was in his uh, glove compartment. I know, it's not like I uh, have an option here, man. Sorry. No, you got any on you? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'll, uh, I got gloves on. Alright, there's stuff all over that car. When your mother gets in that car, I bet she sits in that and touches her face or mouth and goes down. I have no That's, idea that was in my car. No, no, I mean the fentanyl. Yeah, you don't know what you're buying. Yeah. Did you buy that today? Yesterday. Yesterday. And yeah. You, you don't. Is the same guy you usually buy it from? I don't usually buy it off anybody. They're not all honest. Yeah, 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 so no, I mean, I mean, uh, once or twice. Yeah, but whoever you buy it from, if you if you continuously buy it from them, you know who you're buying it from. This, you don't know what people put in it. Riley seemed okay after the officers checked him out, so they decided to investigate the situation further. What's that, a $50 piece? Uh, 100 100 Yeah, so, I just, just got back into this. I, I, you gotta, this is going to, listen, I, this is a terrible situation. We're all in a tough spot, but we got to do what we got to do right by the numbers. It'll help you in the end. Believe me when I tell you. And you'll say to us a month from now, good, best thing that ever happened to me. That's what they all tell us. You can't go down this road anymore. No, no. God forbid we find you dead. That, that would, that's terrible. You yeah. know what I mean? You were down in the car. No, I mean, I've been putting set up for the 17th. Yeah, you just you, you, you gotta get on a program right away. No, I, I, I mean, was. I look at you. Yeah. You're not the Matt Riley that we know. Trust me. And I listen. Your health and your well-being is worth way more than any political career. If we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So and then our arrest record is our public record. I'm not gonna lie to you. But, Right. There's, there's, right. there's not much we can do on this. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying. You know? Oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of media for kids, as much. As yeah, no. Require. Listen, we are only required to release what we release, and we won't. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. All right, jump in before you. We just want to make sure we're gonna monitor you because you've, you've yeah. taken just in some. I'm gonna pat you down oh, again, yeah. all right? You've taken in some fentanyl, Matt, and that's that's you know we've gotta make sure you're, you you don't may not feel it right now, but God forbid something happens to you. Yeah, you, no, I've never done that. Terrible about that, you know. The officer handled the situation professionally and gave Riley a much-needed talk. If we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So and then our arrest record's our public record. I'm not gonna lie. To you. There's, there's, there's not much we can do on this. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying. You know? Oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. In terms of media for kids, as much. As yeah, no. Require. Listen, we are only required to release what we release, and we won't. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. All right, jump in before you. We just want to make sure we're going to monitor you because you've, you've yeah. taken just in some I'm going to pat you down oh, again, yeah. all right? You've taken in some fentanyl, Matt, and that's, that's, you know, we've got to make sure you're, 
you, you don't may not feel it right now, but God forbid something happens to you. Yeah, no, I've never done that. Terrible about that. Riley resigned from the city council and his position as chairman of the Cranston Republican Party Thursday after pressure from the mayor and other council members. He was arrested and charged with possession after the substance found in his car tested positive for cocaine and fentanyl. Watching a councilman getting arrested for drugs is insane, but what happens when a drunk FBI agent tries justifying his partner shooting officers? Listen, I, I'm not gonna answer anything right now. I have no idea. On April 4th, 2017, intense drama unfolded in Grand Rapids as police officers conversed with FBI Special Agent John Salazar when his partner, Ruben Hernandez, did his weapon at a police officer. The way Salazar defends his partner's actions will leave you stunned. I know maybe you can shed some light on what led up to all this. Right, and, and what I'm trying to just verify is make sure who you have, yeah. basically. It, who do you have, or do you have a photo? Or yeah, yeah, we I got a photo him? coming. Or just a... We think it's a uh, room. Yeah, can I see him or give him a photo? Yeah, just we'll so get I you a photo here. Okay, great, thanks. Right, so. Uh, we're just trying to piece it all together, too. Right. And, um, uh, is he staying at the same place that you are? Right. Yeah, let me, once, once I verify who's oh, here, let, let okay. me just verify who's here, and then... Right. Are you Lieutenant Trey? I am not. Oh. Tell me who that is. What the... Oh my gosh, okay. That is uh, Ruben Hernandez. I have two shots, and then a driver's license. Right, okay. Anything you see to his face, though, is uh, before we have contact with him. So, we're just trying to put it all together. We're trying to make sure that somebody didn't, uh, that's him, that's your partner? That is my partner. Okay. Man, what, is he okay? Like, what happened to his face there? Yeah, he looks scuffed up, but, you know. Like I say, he's, uh, that wasn't done here by us. That was before he made contact with us. So we'll make sure he gets checked and everything like do, that. Uh, who did we want to, did we want to get info? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Okay. He wanted to see a picture before he talked to us. Okay. This agent should get an Oscar for his surprised expression, as if he had no idea what was going on. And this is just the start. It gets even better. So did you get a call from him tonight? What's that? Did you get a call from him tonight? Um, Someone called us and we weren't, we're still trying to figure out who called us to warrant, let's say he was in trouble or something. That wasn't you? Um, listen, I, I'm not going to answer anything right now. I have no idea. <clears throat> How come you're not going to answer anything? Well, I mean, I, I got to wait for, you know, I'm talking to my superiors and everything else to see. Oh, she told a lieutenant you're coming down here to kind of shed some light on what happened. Right. No, no, I'm here, and then there's also going to be a, uh, a special agent from the RA here in Grand Rapids. Uh, he's, uh, I don't know if you know uh, S.A. Burns or not, but yeah. he's going to come down here. And so, we'll go from there. Yeah. All right, hold it. There you go. Okay, you got your creds, right? Yeah, you can hold on to that. I'll just take this. Okay. Can we okay. secure it in the locker uh, while you're doing your business? Nah, I'll just I'll stick it in my pocket, thanks. The officer took his gun as he was under the influence and then made him blow into a breathalyzer. Ready? Yep, see your lips and blow. Keep going. There you go. One one six at O five twenty two. Your BAC right now is point one one six. That above? Oh yeah. At five twenty two in the morning. Legal limit in Michigan is point zero eight. So we'll probably be uh, holding on to your firearm. If you think this agent was out of his mind, wait until you see this next officer who was put in his place by an ex-cop. Hey, we're getting phone calls that you're with binoculars watching kids. Yeah. Why? 
I'm working. On June 5, 2024, Michael Hoffman, a private investigator, was working on a case in Hilliard, Florida. While conducting his investigation, Hoffman entered a nearby church's parking lot and was soon driven out. But soon after, someone from the church called the cops on him. Nassau County 911. Hey, this is I'm over here at the over here. Uh, we just had a gentleman uh, come up. He was it looked like he was recording a bunch of our kids that were outside playing. We sent him over to Winn Dixie. Um, you know, to, he said he was waiting on somebody, but now I'm literally sitting here watching him with binoculars, watching all the kids. Yes, sir. So you're at the Winn Dixie right now? Hill, Hilliard Winn Dixie. He is in a gray Mustang at the front of the building towards the left of the front door. After the call, Deputy Gray from the Nassau County Sheriff's Department arrived at the scene to confront Michael. What followed can only be described as intense. What's going on, brother? What's going on, man? Hey, we're getting phone calls that you're with binoculars watching kids. Yeah. Why? I'm working. Working what? I'm not watching kids. Okay, what are you doing then? I'm investigating. All right, did you call the sheriff's office to say that? No. You're supposed to do that. You got some ID on you, brother? And you're in the middle of the parking lot, not even in a parking space. Okay, you're not, you're in the middle of the roadway. Do you have ID on you or not? Anytime that you are a private investigator, do you have a Florida ID on you? That's my investigator relationship, sir. So typically, you're supposed to notify the sheriff's office if you're going to be doing any private investigations whatsoever. But you're also blocking the flow of traffic right here. How long are you going to be here for? I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Well, stand by for just a minute. Are you investigating somebody at the church? I can't discuss that. I'm the pastor over there. What's up, brother? So when I pulled up a few minutes ago, he had the left-hand corner of his shade up, and he was filming kids. Yeah. So Hold on. That's why, that's why we got here. Mom, want to stay back over there, brother. Go back over there. Huh? You don't have a right to hear anything. You go back over there. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. Okay? I'll talk to you over here. Yep. Tell him to stay over there. He says he's a private investigator. Here's his ID. I didn't get a chance to run him yet. He doesn't give him a right to film kids. Oh, I know. 100%. He's supposed to also call the sheriff's office and say that, you know, hey, we're doing this, that, and the other. So I want him trespassed. I don't want him near it. And if you well, can if put him not, in jail, like him the, If he's not on the property, I can't trespass him. But he was on the property. He was on the property yeah, when? Yeah, he was right there when I pulled up and filming a kid. Okay. So you can hear it. I mean, I saw you filming a kid. It's unbelievable how the cop blatantly just lies to the investigator by claiming he's some sort of creeper with zero evidence of it. Hey, Jones. Yeah? Yeah. It's okay. What's your name and badge number, sir? I'm Officer Dan Jones, 1198. Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. All right. Yeah, find out who they want to trespass. Yeah, okay. Go in there and solicit a trespass. Uh, there's some guy. We're trespassing from the journey over there. Um, he's basically filming people at the journey church from y'all's parking lot. Um, is the manager available? Yes. Judy. Uh, Mr. Huffman, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. I know you're a private investigator. I see your credentials. But there's two parts of this for me, so you see where I'm concerned. No, I don't. You don't see a concern that I have a grandson across the street? Sir, what are you holding in your hands? Your ID. It's a state issue ID saying I'm an investigator. Mm -hmm. Now, what would that lead you to be being a law enforcement officer? Would that you're lead you're you investigating to something? something. Okay. Then why would you have a suspicion that I'm a bad guy? I'm, I'm, I, at this That's point, I don't. That's the you're making, sir. At this point, I don't. Okay. But as a concerned grandfather, I have a concern. Absolutely. But I presented you with an ID. Mm -hmm. I've identified who I am. Okay. I'm not hiding from anything. Correct. I, the credentials I presented you present a certain situation would lead you to believe, okay, this guy's working a case. Okay. All right. That's all I had to know. That's all you had to say. That's common sense, I would think. As Michael defends himself, the officer immediately backs off like a coward because he has no reason to do what he is doing. Unfortunately, that was not the end of it. They were there with a video camera filming our kids with VBX. Well, I come over here because I wanted them to understand it happened on our property, not on public property. Right. He didn't have our permission to do it. He didn't have permission to be there. Yes, sir. That gentleman's Should be, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he was seen on the property over there, like 
can't I can't give him a written warning, I'm just a verbal warning uh, for trespass. Yeah, but you could write him an illegal parking ticket. As far as New Mexico goes, if they're doing trespass, I don't, I don't think they will. Because he's not doing anything there. No, they haven't complained. They gotta complain it. They have to have a complainant in order for, for you to trespass him from Win Dixie. And Win Dixie hasn't complained. And he has every right to be here until Win Dixie says they don't want him here. Hey, good. Uh, so there's this guy who's filming kids at the Journey Church across the street. And he's parked in y'all's parking lot. The officer based all of his investigations on the assumption that private investigators must inform the sheriff's office before conducting any investigation, which, as you would have guessed, was completely false. Deputy, am I being <clears throat> As of right now, yes, sir, you are. You are being trespassed from the Wind Dixie. For suspicion of what crime am I being detained? As of right now, you were videoing from across the street. That's what our call was about. And now that they want you trespass, you're being detained. Who wants to trespass? When Dixon's. <laughs> When Dixie was a trespass. So I'm being detained for trespass. Currently, yes. You understand how the law reads for trespass. I must first be given the opportunity to leave the property when told by a proper agent of that property. Okay. Okay. Was I given that opportunity? Oh, once again, am I being detained? Once I give you this trespass warning, you'll be able to leave. Sir, that's a yes or no question. Am I being detained? Yes, currently. Yes. For suspicion of what crime? Are you deaf, sir? Okay. Well, you guys, I tell you, you all earn your reputation nowadays. It's disgusting. You all sit around your departments and wonder why the feels the way they feel. You all hide behind the words like safety, children. Is there a supervisor on scene? No, she's not here. I like, to, I like to have a supervisor on scene. I also like to have business cards from each and every deputy that's in location right now. Okay. You're welcome to have that, and we can contact the sergeant and see if he's close by and can respond. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sergeant close by, you want to call the sergeant? Uh, probably sir? He probably is. You can call him on radio if you want You're close by, your presence is being requested by the individual. Michael brazenly exposed the officer's ignorance, and the best part was that the officer knew that he did not have enough knowledge to argue back. I'd like to be afforded the opportunity to speak to them and explain to them probably what lies you told them to get the trust on this property. Therefore, abusing your authority, I believe that's uh, under code U.S. 242. All right, that works for me. Let me go do it, this guy. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ask them, them? Um, I just told them to scout here illegally parked in your um in your uh, parking spot and yeah I want to trespass. And they're like yeah. And that's all you said. That's it. It is. Okay, thank you. And I well I told them he's like got trespass from over there, he's sitting there watching. Okay. So. All I can do is give give him a verbal trespass for over there. Sir, how long does it take to write a trespass to win? He's a be about done. I, I I hear what you're saying, but you gotta look at it as our way. You're legally parked, you're filming or watching kids across the street. It's weird. Okay. Right? I'm on private property. I'm not illegally parked on anything. You, sir, have no authority here right now. He is filming children is a line often used to create ill will toward a person filming in public, and it's almost always a lie. No, no, let By me, asking them, they, they've given me authority. You don't get a, yeah, you know what? Do you think any business when a law enforcement officer walks in there and says, hey, we got a guy illegally parked, you want him trespass? Do you think any business is going to say, no, sir? But they bow not, down to law enforcement. They lick your boots like the uneducated. Well, I mean, it just sounds like it's completely irrational. Like, I'm talking to you normally, and, like, you're... You, you're upset, I'm upset, like. I'm upset. You but you're legally parked in a like driving lane. I am not lane. illegally parked. You have no authority over this private property. These aren't official parking spaces. Perhaps you should educate yourself in the Fourth Amendment and personal property. But, and then you're like, property. and by them, by two or three witnesses, they're saying. You're over here watching kids. You're you're over here Did like. Did you do any investigation? Well, I'm asking you, but you're <laughs> acting irrational. I don't have to answer questions. No, I'm trying to investigate it, and you're completely I don't losing have your to your crap. Questions. 
Sir, I presented a legal state ID that identifies me as a state licensed investigator. Okay, so okay. like, if I'm doing my job and somebody asks me something, I'm, you know, I, I'm doing this because X, Y, Z. Okay. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, you don't have, that's weird. You know like, why? Because I can't stand law enforcement. Okay. You all are nothing but f***ing tyrants. Well, and tell us how you really feel. What is your name, sir? Officer Dan Jones. M Mr. Jones, you yeah. as a person, as a man, as a father, as a husband, as a brother, as all those things, I don't know you, sir. Sure. You could be a fantastic gentleman, a good Christian gentleman, but as a law enforcement agent, okay, you are given authority, you are given power, you are protected by a corrupt system, and you right now are abusing that power, whether you believe it, whether you think I'm right or not. Uh, supervisor, I've been detained here over 30 minutes. You're not detained, you're getting trespass warnings from here, and you're getting trespass warnings from I here. am detained, I'm not free to go. Well, He's had 30 minutes to write a trespass warning, and I'm right, still please. here. Get out of here, you've been trespassed from Winn Dixie, you've right. been trespassed from here. You don't want to hear how my rights were violated? You've been trespassed from here, and you've been trespassed Illegally. from there. You have your chance to leave, now you're detaining me, so you need to leave. Yeah, not a problem. It's absolutely insane how the officer convinced Ein Dixie to trespass on Michael because he just wanted to get one up on him. This guy is filming kids at the Journey Church across right. the street. He's parked in y'all's parking lot. Back to there. Brandon Hoffman, out of Jacksonville, Valley, 1024 on any calls right. for um, private investigators today. Nice. I had no idea about that. Um, I just told him to scout out here illegally parked in your um in your uh parking spot and yeah I want him to trespass. And they're like, yeah. And that's all you said. That's it. It is. Okay. This is how informed every one of us should be so corrupt officers like him can be put in their right place. Thanks to Michael, this officer will be thinking twice before he decides to bully someone again. Do you think Michael was too hard on the officer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.